Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn about the basic setup of TypeScript. I am on the TypeScript website. As you can see it is written TypeScript is a typed superset of JavaScript that compiles to plain JavaScript. There are two main benefits of using TypeScript over plain JavaScript. The first benefit is plain JavaScript is loosely typed. But when you make use of TypeScript, you will get strong typing. The second benefit is plain javascript or you can say the modern javascript which we are using these days es6 es7 these are not supported by the modern browsers but when you make use of typescript you can simply target a specific version of javascript apart from these two there are a lot of other benefits there are a lot of other features which you can use for example enums interfaces classes module loading a lot of stuff is there which we'll see in the upcoming future for now let's start with the setup the first thing which you need is npm package manager so go to nodejs.org and install the latest version then we need a live server so that we can see the output in the console window then we have to install the typescript with this command let's start with this i'm making use of visual studio code okay so here first you have to install typescript with a global flag Let's see the version of TypeScript. For this, you have to make use of TSC hyphen hyphen V. So I'm making use of 3.0.1. Now we need to install the live server. So let's go to this website. Just copy this command and paste it here. It will install the live server. And you can see we are making use of g flag which basically means install this globally so later we'll simply make use of this live server command to run a live server so let's create a source folder it will be src inside this folder i want to have two files the first will be index.html and the next file will be script.ts ts stands for TypeScript extension okay so whenever you create a TypeScript file make sure you put dot ts next thing which you need is a TypeScript configuration file which you can create using tsc dash dash init you'll get this file and you have a couple of compiler options here for example this target I want to compile my TypeScript into ES5 next is module loading which is common JS it is based on node.js module loading system which we'll see in the future how it actually works and there are a lot of other options which you can see and we'll definitely have a look over them in the upcoming future so just don't worry about it now we need one more folder here let's make it dist okay and if you'll go here to directory and out directory just uncomment this part so our directory should be dist and the root directory should be source and save it now we need some code here in the html file to just put some rough code because you want to execute a script for that we need a script tag and we'll go with the relative path in this case it will be in the dist folder script.js right now i don't have any file in the dist folder but as soon as i compile this file i'll get this file in this dist folder with the dot js extension now save it and in the script.ts type console log hello world let's open this index.html in the browser for this i have to make use of live server open it should be dash dash open and the directory which in this case is source 
so i'll get this window here let's open the console window also delete this thing now if i want to compile this typescript file i have to go into watch mode with the help of typescript command minus or you can say dash w so whatever typescript file will be there that will be compiled and will go into this folder enter so we are getting this message starting compilation in watch mode and you can see we got this script.js here now if you go to browser you will see hello world if i'll just modify this what i am peter save it i'll get i am peter here so this is a basic setup of typescript in the future videos we'll learn about types function classes module loading a lot of stuff is on the way for now it's enough i hope now you know how to set up workspace for the typescript see you in the next video have a nice day